Hello and welcome. Now in this video I'll be showing you how to do a standard two-point V-section. So my machine is set up just in front of me over there and uh, I've got one station here and one station about 30 meters down that way so I'm giving the machine a nice angle to work with. It's a little bit close to both of them and I would prefer to have it more over there but um, from what I'm surveying that's really the best position to be in. So I'm in station BK4 here and what I need to do is come into this screen, click resection and specify an occupation point for the machine. Now as it's only a temporary spot, I'll be leaving that as temp. But if you were over a station you could put, um, or a pin, sorry, you could put the station name in there. Height of the instrument, we're at, uh, you leave at zero for, for purposes of this. And this is one I've done earlier, so I'm just going to remove these. And what we have to do now is, typically you'd have a blank screen here and you'll click add. And station we are on is BK4, so the point here is BK4. What you do is you go in there and you type in the name of your station uh, or your control point. You click that, and then you have to enter the height of the receiver, which is the prism, so the uh, Toad station can work out high, how, how high it is uh, off the station and then how high the actual machine is itself. So that's at 1.5 there and we're at 1.5 in there as well. So all we do next is click on this button here if the machine isn't already locked onto us and we can use this joystick to rotate the machine until it's roughly pointing in our direction which it is now might be able to see the flashing green light and then all you have to do is click on that lock button and the machine will then search for the prism and when it's found it it'll lock on and remain locked on and you'll know it's locked on when these three lines appear here and the digits are changing as you move the prism so next all you have to do is steady the pole Make sure the bubble is in the centre of the circle like that. And then just click the enter button which will take a reading and record the point all in one go. And that chime lets you know that it's done it and you can move on to the next station. Okay, so here we are at our second station which is BK2. We're set up over the nail and the machine is locked on and tracking us. So we enter our next station point in here which is BK2. And the points for these are already stored in this machine. Height of the receiver, well we don't have to change it because the machine can still see us so we can leave that at 1.5 and make sure that 1.5 is still in there. And then it's as simple as lining up the bubble in the hole again and clicking enter. Now with that you might have seen that I just sort of went out as I pressed enter and so because of that we have a standard deviation error of 2mm on the easting, 2mm on the northing and 1 on the height. Now if we want to reduce that error uh, we can re-measure a point so we'll click on BK2 and go on re-measure, make sure we're just set up right over the pin, yep, and then steady the prism. and when we're ready click enter and we've not been able to reduce the error anymore there so we'll just have one more go at that and that's much better we can see the easting error is only a millimeter and the height elevation error is also only a millimetre. For a muck shift that's perfectly acceptable and um, you could even get away with that if you're setting out bolts as there's still play in the cones. Okay so when we've done that we can click on accept and we'll just change the point again to temp because we won't be resetting up over this spot because we don't know exactly where it is and we just click save. That point already exists so I'm just going to click overwrite and if you've already put temp in uh, for another position you can just click overwrite as well. And there we go, your total station is set up and you can now carry on with staking and surveying. Thank you very much. Any comments or questions just leave them below.